morning, guys. Mark Angelo here. Hope you guys had a great weekend. It's Monday, beginning of the week. That's always awesome. I know for some people it isn't, but every day that you're alive and well, that you're able to think, that you're able to move, that you're able to speak, that you're able to see and hear, it's a wonderful day. Yesterday marked a week since Linda and I started our carnivore diet and it's going fantastic no stomach problems no bloating unbeknownst to me not constipated and that's always been my fear of eating animal products or at least beef and I'm loving it I'm loving it it's like every every day you know it's bacon I don't know if you guys can see here sausage eggs and we bought this uh, slow cooker and um, this particular um, what's that me called again it's brisket right yeah brisket and you put it in the slow cooker and it cooks for gosh a good six hours you can just add salt and pepper and you're good to go you're good to go when it's done it's just nice and soft and awesome I usually usually make a couple of eggs with it and no veggies um, we're going to have eventually some information regarding, you know, what vegetables do you, but we kind of mentioned it, um, on the last show we were, we had last Tuesday, the, um, oxidate, oxalate and the lectin or something like that. There's these chemicals that the plants produce, so they're not eaten and they're actually toxic to you. And if you're Facebook friends with me, I've posted some links regarding, the ideology of fruits and vegetables, how limited we really were in that department. And it was specific to certain areas. And now you get fruits and vegetables everywhere, all season long. And that's not good for you. And it actually creates inflammatory disorders. And the body starts to attack itself. And the majority of the disorders we're seeing stems from that. So it behooves everyone to actually do some research on it yourselves. Don't take what I'm saying. I'm doing this for myself. I'm not recommending it for anyone. This is your life. You eat what you want and, and do what you need to do to make yourself feel healthy and happy. But for us, right now this works well. I'm feeling great, energized. Don't need as much sleep. Um, and it's only been a week, so I can imagine what it's going to be like. So ex-vegan and yes for all you vegans who say no you weren't vegan you were plant-based they love to say that to all the ex-vegans which are growing by the way the amount of ex-vegans that are popping up is amazing and vegans don't like it and they become kind of like they become kind of like christians when they lose when they lose a, a fellow christian in their pack and you know just you got to do you you got to do what makes you happy anyway I'm getting ready to put some breakfast together and enjoy our first meal of the day. Then heading to the gym and we are going to head to get our marriage license today so we could get married. And we were married before and it feels wrong not to be married and being together. So love you guys, but remember to always love yourselves too. Bye-bye.